Hi friends, I already own 15 Aero Gardens, two iDo 7 power models, one iDo 12 power model and one other model named Sunhai. I just saw this iDo 10 power model on Amazon. This is a brand new model from iDo. It was looking very interesting compared to other models and I ordered it a week ago. It is delivered this morning and I am very excited. Let's unbox it, assemble it and see how it looks like and what it is capable of. Here it comes. Wow, it looks pretty sleek and compact. The model number mentioned here is ID-IG303. I can't wait anymore to unbox it. It is very well packaged. Here comes the system. As a model that supports 10 pods, I thought it is going to be bulky, but it is designed pretty sleek and compact. First one is the light panel. Same as 12 pod model, this light panel is also the power source to the pump. But it doesn't have the fan. 12 pod model has a fan in the center of the light panel. It has four buttons, power, water, and two grow modes. First grow mode is flower and fruits and the second grow mode is vegetables. Next up is the bowl. This is very nice design. I like it. Here is the bowl cover or grow deck. I like the edges on this grow deck. These edges go over the bowl and won't let the light go into the bowl. I do did a great job here. This is similar to Aero Garden Bounty model. I like Aero Garden so much, but I hate the Aero Garden Harvest grow deck design. It leaves lot of gaps around the edges and the light will go into the bowl and encourage algae. You can see algae all over the edges of this Aero Garden Harvest model here. Next up is accessories. Let's see what are all the accessories it came with. This pack has tanks to make a note of seeds. Next pack is a set of 5 pod hole covers, one water filling hole cover and a cap for water dispenser hole. This bowl already has a cap for water dispenser hole. It's basically a backup. Thanks to Ido for this backup accessory. I like this water dispenser. I can easily change water whenever I need. I don't need to disturb the plants. This is another good design from Ido. These pod covers are going to be very useful. I may not be using all the pods every time. I can cover the unused pod holes easily using these covers. Next pack is the domes to cover the pods to help germination. Next up is the pod baskets. Oh my gosh, I am extremely impressed with the design of these pod baskets. I am sorry for the over excitement but I can't really control myself. I don't like the design of pods for both 7 pod and 12 pod IDO models at all, mainly because of two reasons. Number one is, the pods are very short and doesn't hold the plants very well, especially the bigger plants like tomato. Also, I have to make sure that the water is at maximum level, especially during the germination period and initial few days. Otherwise, water won't touch the pods and seedlings will dry up. Number two is the availability of sponges. I have to buy only IDO branded sponges. And I have to buy the compatible sponges made for 7 pod and 12 pod models separately. They are not compatible to each other and they are not available all the time. And they are very expensive when they are available. So, the pods for this 10 pod model is very close to Aero Garden baskets. Here I am showing side by side with Aero Garden pod. I do pod is about 1 cm short and opening is little narrow. But the sponges are perfectly compatible with each other. I can find plenty of third party sponges with good quality and less price. I am very very impressed with this design. Next up is the sponges. It came with two packs and the total 20 sponges. 
Let me take out the Aerogod and Sponge and show them side by side. They look almost close, both in height and width. Let me insert both sponges one after the other and see if there is any difference. First I do sponge, then aerogod and sponge. I see no difference. Next up is the light rod. It is two piece telescopic design. It extends up to 8 inches which is very good height adjustment. I do 7 port model extends up to 15 inches and 12 port model extends up to 11 inches only. I do 10 port model is really good that it extends up to 18 inches. Next up is plant nutrition. Like other I do models, it's a pack of A and B dry nutrients. We have to dissolve these dry nutrients and use them together. And the last accessory is the power adapter. Let's look at the bowl. This is very nice and clean design. I don't like the bowl of I do 7 pod model which has lot of unnecessary complications and I couldn't clean the bowl thoroughly. But this bowl is very neat. Here is the pump. It is attached with two screws. I can detach it and clean the bowl easily and thoroughly. We can monitor the water level from this transparent window. Maximum water capacity is 4.5 liters. Let's assemble it and test it. I will clean up the bowl first. It has lot of dust and debris. First, let's check if it has any water indicator. I do 7 pod model has water indicator, but the 12 pod model doesn't. Bowl is empty. I am not adding the water. I am connecting the pump to the power source on the light panel. I turned on the water. I can see the pump is running now. I feel little vibrations. It is beeping. The beep is coming from the light panel. Let's listen it. Beep volume is pretty low, but I think we can listen it. I am adding water now. We can see the water is being pumped and no more beeping. I am adding more water. Pump is completely submerged, but we can clearly see the water movement. We can see the water is being pushed onto my finger. We can definitely depend on the water indicator in this model. We can also monitor the water level from the side. Like any other I do models, this model also doesn't have food indicator. We have to remember ourselves to add food every two weeks. I already washed the grow deck. I am placing it now. Make sure it aligns very well. Now let's see if Aerogarden pod fits into this I do. It doesn't fit perfectly, but I think it's fine. I am also placing I do pod to see them side by side. Aerogarden pod is about 2 cm above the deck, but it's pretty stable. This is totally fine as the sponge portion of the pod is under the deck. Anyways, I do already came with 10 pod baskets, so I don't really need to use Aerogarden pod baskets. But I'm going to use just one Aerogarden pod basket for testing. For the sponges, I am using sponges from 4 different companies. In addition to Idu and Aero Garden, I have sponges from two third party companies. One is Urban Leaf and the other one is Park Seed. Let me show you all the sponges side by side. Here are the four sponges Urban Leaf, Park Seed, Idu, and Aero Garden. All are looking super close. First, I am using Park Seed sponge. It fits perfectly. Park seed sponges are wet and already expanded. Next, I am using urban leaf sponge. Then, Aero Garden sponge. For the remaining, I will be using Ido sponges. I will be growing buttercrunch lettuce in this garden. 
I will place two seeds in each pod. All pods are ready now. I am placing the domes. Here is the aero garden dome for aero garden basket. Filling the water to maximum level. Maximum level is also indicated at this water pouring hole. Close the water hole with cover. This garden is ready now. I am not adding any nutrition at this point. I always wait for the seedlings and then add the nutrition. Fixing the light stand. Now fix the light panel. Here it is. It is all set to go. One of the hole covers is explicitly marked with water indicator. But I don't see anything special here. All covers are exactly same. I just realized it has one drawback and I think it's a huge drawback. The light adjustment starts with 8 inches. I cannot set it below 8 inches. With this huge gap, seedlings may run for light and become leggy. Let's see how it goes. It's day 5. I see pretty good germination. 7 pods have both seeds germinated. 2 pods have only one seed germinated. Only one pod doesn't have any seeds germinated. The seeds are sprouted but they got stunted. Anyway, the germination doesn't really have any dependency on the system. The real performance of the system starts now. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. One problem with the IDO systems is that they don't come with stickers. Once the sponges start soaking with nutrition water, the combination of nutrition, water and light encourages algae on the sponges. So I wrapped the pots with aluminum foil to block the light coming onto the sponges. I also removed the extra plants. Now I have only one plant per pod. Now I am adding nutrition. I do comes with two bottles of dry nutrients. We have to use these nutrients simultaneously. I already added water to these bottles and all the solids are completely dissolved. Directions on this bottle says that we should add 5 ml of A nutrition and 5 ml of B nutrition for every 1 liter of water. The water capacity of this IDO 10 pod model is 4.5 liters. So I am going to add 22 ml of A nutrition and 22 ml of B nutrition. Day 10. Lettuce is coming very nice. Since the lights are far above, I thought the plants will grow leggy. But I don't see any issues. Plants are growing nice. Day 14. Lettuce is coming very nice. Leaves are growing big. Day 18. Lettuce plants are coming very nice with lots of huge leaves. Day 23, lettuce is growing big. Leaves are about 8 inches tall and 4 inches wide. All plants are doing very well. Day 30, lettuce has grown big enough. I am going to start harvesting the outer leaves. Day 35, I already harvested lot of lettuce. Plants are still producing more leaves. 
I see three plants are getting leggy while the remaining plants are staying low. But this is pretty much expected. I see this kind of legginess from day 35 or day 40 in Aerogarden as well. All these plants did their best already. I recently noticed one issue with this system. As plants are getting taller, they are leaning on one side. The reason for this issue is the pods are not stable. We can see how the pods are lifted up and making the plants fall off. I see same issue with my tomato plants as well. I am not too much concerned with this but I just wanted to call it out. Overall, I am already impressed with the design. Now I am impressed with the performance as well. I like it. Anyways, you saw what I saw. Results are mine and the decision is yours. That will be all for now. Thanks for watching. Happy hydroponic growing.